Hello, Wadodo family. My name is Joshua Mgabi, and I'm privileged today to bring to you God's Word. And I want to share from what the Apostle Paul wrote to the church at Corinth in 2 Corinthians chapter 10. Uh, from verse 3, this is what it says. For though we live in the world, we do not wage war as the world does. The weapons we fight with are not weapons of the world. On the contrary, they have divine power to demolish strongholds. We demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God and we take captivity or we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. And we will be ready to punish every act of disobedience once your obedience is complete. Yes, Paul is speaking to a church that had had his issues and saying, hey, we may be in the world, but we are in the middle of a great fight, a fight for our souls. And I thought, yeah, in the time that we live in, we live in a time, put on your mask, sanitize, get vaccinated, keep social distancing, and sometimes so easy for us to forget that behind all of that, there's a fight that we must fight. And it's important that we must fight correctly. I know the Bible tells us to engage and apply all the weapons that are available for us. We won't go into the list of weapons, but this is what Paul says, these weapons we fight with have the power to demolish strongholds. And it's your responsibility, my responsibility, to use these weapons of war to deal with every stronghold that may be standing our way. And I'm reminded recently, we had people that are known as rebels that overthrew a government that had been furnished with every sort of powerful weapon. But here is what the President of the United States said, we can give them weapons, but we cannot give them the will to fight. And with all the weapons on their hands, they simply fled. I don't want you to be like those soldiers, trained, equipped, but fleeing from the enemy. So I want to invite you, my brother, to take up the weapons of war and engage in the fight to demolish every stronghold. Yes, every high thing that sets itself up against the knowledge of Christ, making sure our thoughts line up with God's word and then we will win. But the bottom line is, it says, obedience to Christ. We must learn to obey everything the word of God tells us to do and then we'll be victorious. So my brother, my sister, in this portion of time, I want to challenge you to get back to use the weapons that God has given you. Tear down every stronghold that stands against you and win the war. And the key to the victory is obedience. So walk in obedience, and as you use your obedience, you'll win the war. I believe God is calling you to rise up and fight and walk in obedience and then we'll see great victories. God bless you, King Size.